Hey, it's Julie. For this first hack, I'll be using some Sharpies. And not just any Sharpies, these are metallic Sharpies. I started with one coat of the super opaque black and I let that totally dry. And then I'm gonna apply a quick dry top coat. This is gonna prevent that black from smearing when we apply the Sharpie. Now the cool thing about these metallic Sharpies is obviously the metallic finish. They're so pretty and shiny, but the trick is not to add top coat. You can do any design you like. I did this polka dot pattern and I let it totally dry and that is it. Don't apply top coat to maintain that really pretty metallic finish. For the next design, I'll be using an item that you definitely have around your house, and that is a safety pin. One end of the safety pin has the closure side, and the side of that can be used to create a really simple heart design. It's more of an oval shape, so once you dip it into your polish, you can create two oval shapes, placing them in a V formation, and if you need to, you can always open your safety pin to drag the point down and create a perfect heart. Finish with a top coat to smooth everything out, and you have a really cute minimal heart design done with a safety pin. The next null design will be using a match, like a match stick. The strike side of the matchstick is perfect for creating a soft circular shape. So I'm gonna use it to create some really cute fluffy clouds. I first painted my nail with a really pretty pink color and I let that totally dry. And now I'm gonna go in with this off white. And as you can see, it just creates the perfect, softest, fluffiest clouds. And the great thing about this is that they can be imperfect and it looks even better. But I find that that match really helps create irregular but soft circles to create a cloud design. Now, all of those are pretty much makeshift dotting tools, but my favorite makeshift dotting tool is a pin, like a sewing pin. And this just creates perfect large dots. I'm gonna use it to create a cow print, a negative space cow print. So basically just used a black polish and then I just wiggled this pin all over making irregular blobs. And because it's so round, the edges are super smooth and it gives it a really clean, sharp finish, which I absolutely love. The pin is also great for creating large flowers or pretty much anything you would use a large dotting tool for. For the next design, I'm gonna be using two items you might have around the house. The first one is blush, like for your cheeks. And the second one is an applicator, an eyeshadow applicator. I don't know about you, but I have tons of these just laying around and this design is great for using those up. I applied a pearlescent polish and then once that almost dried, like 95% dried, I just buffed the blush into the center of the nail and I did that twice and it gives a really cool aura like nail design effect and then I'm just gonna add these little tiny celestial stickers and it makes such a cute whimsical dreamy nail design and I absolutely love how this turned out Now I showed you how to use a metallic Sharpie, but you can also use colorful Sharpies. And I find the colorful Sharpies actually give a watercolor like effect. So I love to create flower designs on my nails using these. And the great thing about this is that it's a pin. So if you can write or draw, you can do this nail art using the Sharpie and you can make it as customized as you like. I also like to use the fine pin Sharpies to do really, really tiny details. So I'm just gonna add some leaves and some dots to the centers of these flowers. Now, just like the other metallic Sharpie, this design is best not top coated. If you do want to preserve it, you should wait at least 30 minutes before top coating and make sure you do the floating technique where you float the top coat over top to prevent any smearing. Those extra eyeshadow applicators are also great for the perfect glitter gradient. The sponge absorbs the excess clear polish that is normally in glitter polishes. So when you apply it to your nail, only the glitter is deposited. And I like this because the applicator is pretty much the size of my nail. So it's super easy to control and you can build up that product where you need.
Okay, I love negative space, but it can be kind of fiddly to do. Did you know that you can use a Q-tip dipped in acetone to remove the center of your manicure into a shape that you want for an easy negative space nail design? I did a little heart, and as you can see, I just used the Q-tip and I erased the polish, and voila, a negative space nail design. So easy and a great design for beginners. You can also use Q-tips to create petals for flowers, and I find that the pointed Q-tips actually make the perfect petal shape. You can just dip it into a color of your choice and then apply it in the shape of a flower, and the pointed shape of the Q-tip is naturally gonna create that sort of tapered teardrop petal shape, and it's so easy. And then you can use the other side and use a different color to add a dot to the center of your flowers. And the last household item that I use all the time for nail art is plastic wrap. I love to use this to create a tie-dye or watercolor-like effect. You just apply some colors to your nail, and then while they're still wet, lay the plastic wrap over top, smush it just a little bit, and then pick up the plastic wrap and turn it about 45 degrees and lay it back down. It's going to move those colors together, kind of blend them, and create a really cool watercolor-like effect that is super easy to do. You can do this with brighter colors and it kind of gives more of a tie dye effect or you can always do a white coat of polish first, let that dry and then do your colors over top to make your colors a little more saturated and vibrant. Clean up any polish you may have got on your skin with a cleanup brush and some nail polish remover and then be sure to apply a generous layer of top coat to smooth out the texture and add a gorgeous glossy shine. There you have 10 nail designs using products you can find around your house. If you enjoyed this video, click on your screen here to watch more Cute Polish videos like this. And be sure to hit that circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. And if you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, click on your circle here. As always, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye.